To set up your email accounts for Outlook 2010, you need to first create the email accounts in your control panel. To do that, have a look at the new account information you would have been sent when you signed up. In your login details, it tells you where your control panel is, as well as your control panel username and password. Go to your website's cPanel address and log in with the username and password that was given to you. Inside cPanel, you need to create an email account. You'll see that there are no accounts at the moment. Let's create a new one. We'll call this one Test. We'll give it a password. And then we create the account. We now have our new email address in the list. Let's now go to Outlook 2010. To create a new email account in Outlook 2010, click on File, Account Settings, and then click on the Account Settings link. Make sure the Email tab is selected, and then click on New. Do not use Microsoft's automatic email account settings. Rather, select the Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types and click on Next. Select Internet Email and click on Next. Your name, enter your real name. The email address is the one you just created. It is a POP3 account. The incoming mail and the outgoing mail servers are both mail.yourdomain.extension. In this case, mail.softwaredesignservices.co.za. And they are both the same. The username is the full email address. So in this case, it's test at softwaredesignservices.co.za. And enter the password that you chose when you created the email account. It is advisable to click on the Remember Password button. Otherwise, you'll have to enter your password each time you send and receive email. Make sure that the require logon using secure password authentication is unchecked. Now you need to click on the More Settings button. Click on Outgoing Server tab. And then put a checkbox in My Outgoing Server SMTP requires authentication and make sure that you've selected Use Same Settings as My Incoming Mail Server. And then click on OK. You can now test your email account. If you leave the Test Account Settings by clicking the Next button Enabled, it'll re-perform those tests when you click on Next. It tells you that you have successfully entered all the information and that you are done. To add multiple accounts, simply follow the same process again. Click on Finish, and click on Close.